going to go ahead and start recording. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Sharif and Friends here on NBA 2K12. We got a couple, uh, couple games going on here. We got uh, Miami for sure. Oh, well, maybe Miami? Yeah, I mean, I stopped in front of Miami, so I'm probably going to do that one. And then uh, definitely Cleveland as well. And then that'll take us to what looks to be dueling jazz games after that. So that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm trying to see what else there is. Yeah, not too much else to really worry about. Um, I'm thinking before I really do too much, I don't think I've done development drills yet. No, I have not. Uh, I should get some development drills up for some of these guys. Let's see. Uh, Penny could could do better on three points, but he's doing pretty okay. Uh, Tinsley is probably going to be one of the guys as well. Hoiberg's hurt right now. He's got a broken hand, and Tim Duncan's got one to two weeks. So, uh, what what did we have here? Okay, so we're probably not going to see Tim Duncan yet. That yeah, looks like it's going to be next one. And also no Hoiberg. So this is really going to be something. We're going to need Tinsley to step up a little bit. Let's go ahead and get him in there, see what we can do with him. Hello, hello. All right. And they always pair him with, like, the best players, too. Really? Come on, come on. There you go. There you go. That's fine. That's fine. There you go. We're good. We're good. I'm already getting... Uh, come on. Find the ball. Find the ball. I'm already getting used to the Tinsley's like late release. Although I would really appreciate it if he actually made some of these shots. There you go. Come on. Find it. There you go. There you go. All right. Steal some more of his stuff. Did I watch the games today? I did not. Ugh. That's fine. That's fine. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Grab. Holy shit. So one thing I hated about this is just Come on. Oh, you son of a Okay, okay. That's that's fine. I thought he I thought he got it down to 2 and then I would just I would have cried right there at the end. Glitch ass animations needs to grab the ball quicker. That's all right. Um, let's see. Penny. We did Tinsley. We got Penny. Do we want to do any of these other guys? Should we keep, Should we try Kwame? We should try Kwame. We should make Kwame a shooter. I think most of where he's at already is as a big man. I'm telling you, I'm gonna I'm gonna well round him. I'm gonna I'm gonna make him very well rounded. He's just got to make a couple of these. That's all he's got to do. There you go. And then we'll stick inside. All right. That's fine. All right. But Kwame's got to make some of these shots. There you go. So the AI doesn't really like me taking all these spots here. So he's going to come down. Oh, my God. See, he's taking all my spots now. Come on. Ah, uh, the fact that he already took... Oh, my God. The fact that he already took my uh, mid-range shot... Uh, my mid-range zones is not great. Can he stop taking them? Come on. I need him to fight me down here. I need him to miss those shots so he can fight me down here where I can beat him. I just needed a few extra zones to make sure. Come on. Ah, oh, I accidentally... Come on. 
There you go, there you go, there you go. Come on, come on! Oh, these fucking animations, man. Come on. Nope, that's not where I need you to go. I need you to go in. There you go, there you go, right in there. Jesus Christ. Uh, did Penny get glitched out or something? Where the hell did he go? He just disappeared. All right, cool. Plus three medium, plus four three, and plus four consistency. I'll take it. Hello, hello. Nets versus Bucks was boring. I figured it'd be a better. I figured it'd be a better game. Uh, should we just keep up Lee Mayberry? Also, honestly, because even though he's old, like as long as he can still shoot perfectly fine, that'd be great. Uh. Uh, where the fuck consistency's a 69 you know what i think i don't think we've done much with lee mayberry let's upgrade his consistency a little bit one easy 20 something points jesus i wasn't gonna stream this late because i still have to go to bed but i was like i i was basically telling myself i'm like listen you are not gonna go to bed super soon anyway so why not take a couple hours to play this? You're not going to go to bed and, you know, you, you got a couple hours anyway. Oh, my God. Uh, nope. There you go. Come on, back it up. Uh, hey, you want to keep shooting on yours? That's fine. Ah, don't do that. Don't do that, Lee. Don't do that. I need you to I need you to grab the ball. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right, make him come inside. Make him come inside. Ah. He's really he really wants to be annoying. He really wants to be an annoyance to me right now. Come on. Come on, grab it! Grab a ball, you son of a bitch! Jesus Christ, man. I hate that. I hate that the, the AI just not figuring out what he wants me to do. Grab a ball! All right, good enough. Uh, all right, there we go. Cool, cool. Now we can start our games. All right. Magic Add Heat. Hey, we get to showcase the uh, the heats. I don't think I have an appropriate heat uh, jersey for them unless I had the white version. Mm, that could be kind of close. I don't want to use the red. They got the black, but, I mean, we're going to be ended up using the black, honestly. Let me see. Could use could use the old school white. That could work. Yeah, we'll do that. That works. All right. Welcome to 2K Sports. Glad to have you with us for a little NBA basketball. Let's get live on a Saturday night. It'll 21 points per game. This is very loud in my, in my ears. All right, let's go. And both teams going through their pregame rituals, getting loose well before we're underway. All right. New Orleans. Oh, what? Why is there no? Why is the logo not showing up? I just realized that the logo is not showing up. What the shit? Ugh. Tracy McGrady, Lindsey Hunter, Dikembe Mutombo. Jesus. Well, I'm not perfect at uh, I'm not perfect at creating some of these mods and getting them to work properly. But at least the at least the floor is working fine. That's good. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. oh, damn it. 
maintain the same intimidation factor that they had last season. Ah, son of a bitch. All right. That's fine. Oh, that's probably not what I should have done. That's all right. All right, let's see. There you go. Oh, is it gonna show? Is it gonna show his jump? It is. It's gonna show his 15.9 inch vertical. Yeah, that's a dunk that could absolutely get them going. I agree, Clark. So it's Miami now, following the bucket by Orlando. Up. Now against Matumbo. Oh. Oh shit. Steal by Yao. Inside. Oh my god. Yao Ming immediately. Uh, I've been watching a, I've been watching a few things. I've been I've been seeing some of the footage on the new NASCAR game. Ooh. It's looking rough. Oh shit. I was I was seeing some of the ah just pop it up. All right, never mind. I was seeing some of the features for it, and uh, I was a little disappointed. And I was like, well, as long as the game runs really well, like as long as the driving is really good, they can maybe make up for it. Oh my God. Yeah, I was like, as long as as long as the driving is really good, and then I saw there was just a lot of issues even with that, and I'm just like, mm. I kind of I kind of got invested into it because I've been playing a lot of NASCAR 2003 in my in my off time. I got into like driving some indie cars and driving just a bunch of different types of mods that I have. Feed the big man. Oh, uh, you know what? Oh, my God. That's exactly what will happen when a team continues to attack the goal and come away with layup. It demoralizes the defense. This is like this is like the Lakers in, in like the early 2000s. Just just feed the ball to Shaq. Ah, that's all right. Has my day and night been? It's been all right. I was I, I came home and I was gonna take a nap and then I didn't. And then I was gonna go to bed relatively soon, and then I pretty much told myself, You're not gonna go to bed really soon anyway, so why 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 not uh stream? Because it's been a little bit anyway. No question. You know, and it's one thing to plan for them, it's another thing. But other than that, been fairly unevent well, I'd say uneventful. I can't remember if I've streamed since I I think I talked about my dryer breaking. I think that I think that happened the last time I streamed. You gonna you gonna you gonna you gonna get him this time? Nope. All right. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was just going to score all the points tonight. I think that's just how it's going to work. There you go. Nope. There you go. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> he was very not happy about that. All right, so we got Sharif back out there. We can we can uh, roll with Sharif, Derek Alston a little bit. Hey, ah, Sharif, what are you doing? All right, is this gonna start being Yao Ming and friends? Is this Yao and friends? 
finishing when the defense is in his face. I forgot I had Dennis Scott back on this team. With the ball. Now guarded by Elliott. Oh! Seven foot shot. That's good. Sharif with an ankle breaking moment. Poses a ton of matchup problems for the defense. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there. Was not a very inspired performance for them. Uh, really yeah, I'll leave everything kind of how it is for right now. Hostile crowd, a lot to cheer about, frankly. Yeah, they allowed a lot of free runs to the hoop, a lot of open jumpers, and in the end, the opponent's shooting percentage <sighs> right through the roof, and you can't win when that's the case. The Heat trail by eight. They could use a big shot oh, here oh. to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. There we go. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Pass to Hunter. Yeah, I really, I really kind of wish I could figure out a good way to do like a series on NASCAR 2003. And let's go to the 2K leaderboard to see the teams that blocked the most shots in the NBA last year. Number one, the Heat, the Magic in second. There you go. Yeah, both clubs physically dominant down in the paint. You're kidding. The team with Dikembe Mutombo is a top, top blocking team. See them really working Ew, NASCAR. Well, to be fair, what I have been playing this week on NASCAR has been IndyCar, so it hasn't quite been been NASCAR. To stop the drought, and it's Orlando with the rebound. I feel like there's a lot of people who like watch IndyCar that don't like NASCAR, and then vice versa. All right, Tinsley, let's see what you got. Nope. All right. He's a good defender because of those things. Considering NASCAR is intense, I don't think they'll accept a person named Sharif. <laughs> I had one of my uh, I had one of my friends. Oh, uh, there we go. And uh, he went he went to a dirt track race with his boyfriend because his boyfriend is really into like dirt track racing and he was like yeah you know nothing really happened I'm like did you expect something to happen <laughs> he's like do you think they were just gonna sniff out that you were gay and they were gonna not like it like what were you expecting <laughs> I'm just like normal ass people Tend to lead normal ass lives. They're not gonna. I don't know how much. I don't know how much he's on Facebook. He's on Facebook a hell of a lot more than I am. But I'm like, if you if you tend to be around just normal everyday people, people just kind of want to be left alone, and they're gonna treat people that way. What? What the fuck was that, Sharif? Holy shit! I gotta, I gotta say though, I'm a big fan of ah oh, Sharif. I'm a big fan of my own work on this Tron basketball court. It's a nice novelty. I feel like, uh, I feel like people would get sick of it super fast, but I had to, I had to be here for a Miami game just to, just to be here for this. All right, what we got? Uh, we got Penny out here. Oh, there's Kwame. There's the boy, Kwame. Oh, Jesus Christ. And Sharif. Nope, Mayberry's on. Sharif just looks, or Mayberry just looks like a mini Sharif almost. Oh, my God. Can we just get a proper pass to, oh, Jesus. They're they're uh they're they're abusing this poor this poor young man. Go to log in on Twitch and see Amaranth? No, I don't care. <laughs> I don't I don't care. 
and Brown drops them both. They're shooting extremely well from the free throw line now. The Heat trail by eight. It's weird the things I have immersed myself in over the last week as far as lore goes. I have immersed myself in IndyCar lore. I think mostly because I had some stuff. Um, I think the IndyCar lore stuff has been mostly due to the fact that, um, what was it, just a few days ago was Dan Weldon's 10-year anniversary of his death. And there was... Uh, there was a couple guys I, I have watched videos of quite a bit. They do really good documentary style uh, videos. And of course, uh, both of them did something on Dan Weldon. That was like almost an hour long each. Ooh. I was a bit, I was a bit eh on that one. That's all right. You know what he's good at? He's good at drawing fouls. Kwame is excellent at drawing those fouls. Oh, you Oh, okay. You go you you went to log in and saw her. Gotcha. I thought you were telling me to go log in. I was like, okay. Magic lead by eight from the New Orleans Arena. Back in a moment. Just chill out. This is why this this and like this and the shit that you were saying when you first when you first walked into this stream are the reason why I occasionally get chats from people that's like, hey, are those are those fucking spammers not here anymore? I haven't seen them. Are those rude ass, rude asses that are usually here? Are they are they still around? And the first quarter is in the book. Second about ready to get underway. And when you consider how the Magic are doing, Stephen Clark, what do you think? Really good sign offensively. The way they started this game out, mm -hmm. a lot of hoops from close range. Yeah, it's a lot easier to get baskets inside. <laughs> and you're only long term fans. I have other fans. I mean, I don't blame, uh, to be fair, I don't blame anybody if they're just like, this motherfucker streams once a week now. If I want to watch TEW, he's going to do like 12 a year because he only does like once a month now. <laughs> I'm going elsewhere. Until those guys just disappear off YouTube. Definitely worth checking out. He's their leader defensively. He's able to do so many things well on that end of the court. I also have gotten stuck in this weird loop of um what is it? A combination of VTuber lore of stuff that happens and then uh DSP lore. Mostly to just see the thing where I'm just sitting here like, man, I, thank God I have a day job. Thank God I have a day job where I don't have to sit here for six hours a day. VTuber lore. Yeah, just like when stuff happens and people are talking. Like, not, okay, so not, not so much lore, like official lore, but usually it's people discussing... Discussing stuff that is going on with VTubers and then also are more or less blatant about their previous personas and, you know, just talking about that. I don't want to suck my own dick here, but I did an amazing job with this court. This is a fun court. <laughs> I'll suck my own dick just a little bit on that. I don't think this could work as an actual basketball court on an NBA on an in an NBA arena, but Oh my god, we got Yao and Kwame. What is with the 
What is with the Heat and consistently trying to steal the ball from Kwame? What is this? What is this shit? They're always trying to steal from him. Hey! I know, I contradicted myself. That's right where they wanted to go with the ball on that possession. But yeah, it, it's just one of those things when you see somebody and you just go, man, thank God I don't have to sit here and complain about people not giving me money. Hey, Yao Ming's got 14 points. How many is, and Kwame's got, Kwame's got eight. So out of the 30 points, out of the 30 points we've scored so far, Yao Ming and Kwame Brown attribute 22 of them. Penny hasn't even scored yet, and I'm pretty sure Sharif only has scored once. Woo. Well, we still have to deal with Tracy McGrady, unfortunately. So, PJ Brown has already got three fouls. This is this is great. There we go. About three mm -hmm. so far in the second quarter. Oh, shit. Ming and Co this this really is starting to turn into Yao and friends. Sharif is kind of here, but <laughs> this game really is Yao and friends. Oh, you son of a bitch. All right. That's fine. Yeah, our team, for whatever reason, just doesn't feel like rebounding. Maybe that changes with Yao and getting Tim Duncan back. Oh, I'm stupid. Yep, I deserve that. All right, Yao. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Yao Ming, 19 points. The rest of the team, 16. Yao Ming, rookie of the year. He had to, but what he he had to have been rookie of the year in real life, did wasn't he? Because I remember his first game against Shaq was one of those like eye openers. Like, okay, this dude's legit. Oh my God, Sharif! No, you can't. Even the even the commentators are just like, you can't get a much better look than that. Yeah, no shit. How do you blow him an open uh, a wide open mid range jumper, man? What the fuck? All right, feed it to the big man. Ah, he's starting to get tired. I think. Yeah, I was rookie of the year. Yeah, I don't. I can't imagine who else it could have been. Was Ginobili two thousand two? I know I've seen Ginobili. I don't think. I think Ginobili's been around. I think he was like two thousand or two thousand one, something like that. I already, I already forgot <laughs> the people that were in this draft class. Why is face so square? I have no idea. That's I meant to give it to Sharif. God damn it! Oh my god! You got it! You got it! There you go. And that's ten straight points in the paint. Defensively, the wind has just been knocked out of their sails. Need to get more bodies committed down low to the middle. Oh, son of a bitch. All right, all right. We're still good. Lindsey Hunter's doing all right. Tinsley. 
they're really expecting Sharif to have an awful game. There you go. They were really slacking off on. They never slack off on Sharif. Jesus. It'd be great if he if he just pulls out a a, a great game out of this too. Come on, pull that away. There you go. Oh, my God. Oh, the fancy handwork there to make that happen. Good Lord. I'll take that. We got 30 points in the paint, mostly because, like, 20 of them come from Yao. Get out of the way. Oh, all right. Hey, there you go. All right, we're getting it. You know, Amari Stoudemire was really good, but he uh, he, he sort of like fizzled out pretty. Well, I was going to say pretty quickly, but I think he had a pretty good run with uh, the Knicks, I think, in the early 2010s, but. Not much else after that. Okay. I wonder if people look at Yao Ming not winning Rookie of the Year like the year that Steve Nash won one of his MVPs when it was felt like Shaq should have won it. And I mostly know that because Shaq never shuts up about it. <laughs> if they ever bring up, if they ever bring up MVPs or Steve Nash, <laughs> Shaq would just be like, "Oh no, I don't know, I don't know why there was one of those years they didn't give me it." You give it to Steve Nash. Should have another MVP. Ah. Ooh. Tried. Not bad. Got a little bit of separation there because they were up. What was it? We got an eight-point run off that. Sports. We've got a rivalry battle on our hands today. Let's break it down. Oh my god. A great team why why am I being shown so Rubik's cubes? Start this season playing with confidence. I got a I got a I got a guy at work. I got a buddy of mine at work that um he he has brought Rubik's cubes. He's brought several Rubik's cubes to uh to work now. He's got a 2 by 2, a 3 by 3 and a 4 by 4. And he just solves them constantly. And, and then he has one of those ones that's like diamonds with uh, triangles. And another game going on. The Heat have the lead out in Miami against Memphis. Second half of basketball going on in a tight one. And to look now at the rest of the action from around the NBA. At least the other logos are working fine. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with the uh, Miami one. I had to figure out what's wrong with that. Thanks so much for spending half time with me. Now it's time to send you back out for the start of the third quarter. The Sprint Halftime Report, hmm. presented by Sprint. As I say, I don't think I watched much NBA in, like, the 2000s. I know about it. I've watched a lot of history on it, but I, know, I never really watched a ton of it. And then I kind of got back into it in, like, 2010. It always Stuff like that always seems to correlate with playing video games. That's that's what always seems to correlate with it. Ooh. Oh, son of a bitch. Like I'm getting an interest in IndyCar, sort of, because I've been playing it in in uh, NR2003. And they got two races coming next year to Iowa, so I'll probably have to go. I've never been, I've never been to Iowa Speedway yet, so... 
I think there was a. I think I was gonna go to the Arca race, but I didn't. I think there was. A, I think there was something else going on that day. So I'll probably try to go to one of the IndyCar races next season. That that seems nice. Oh. Well, I don't need to. I don't need to swipe so damn much. I need to just stop swiping so damn much. There you go. Keep it going. Keep it going. Give the ball to Yao. Call it. Get another foul called. This man's man's up to the line now for seven shots at the line. Jesus. Up, up. They're trying. They're trying. Penny and McGrady. Quite the matchup going on here. Of course, even at this point, their 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 lives have taken such a different turn. Oh, than what actually happened. All right, give me, give me, give me, give me some separation here. I'm gonna say, oh, look at that! Oh shit! Oh shit! Excuse me. There you go. If it wasn't for if it wasn't for that guy, Penny would have damn near broken uh, McGrady's ankles there. That's pretty good. I didn't think that was gonna happen. McGrady got God on that one. He got bailed out by a teammate, but we still end up making it anyway. I'm trying to remember if there's other stuff. I feel like there's other stuff I've been playing besides trucking. <laughs> besides besides all sorts of all sorts of different uh just trucking runs that uh we've done oh shit oh my god oh here comes the here comes that 18 inch vertical again oh he, he got up there it was somewhere in the mid 20s i think Yeah, Yao's never had to have a big vertical, but showing it off there a little bit. Oh, you know what I should make? What I should make for jerseys if I'm gonna make uh, if I'm gonna make oh there you go if I'm gonna make custom jerseys for for all the logos and courts and everything here should make T-shirt jerseys. Just to irritate everybody, because you know T-shirt jerseys are always have always been beloved. <laughs> Just to have everyone have T-shirt jerseys. It's amazing the Magic were only in second. It means we need to hit more threes. That's not going to happen with big ass Yao Ming. Just oh my god, what the fuck was that? Did did he just like ran? Did he just like animation glitch? What is that? Uh, kind of, sorta. He he had it, but yeah, okay. He he yeah, that was very instantaneous. But yeah, he was very fast with it. Good lord, man. He's got 25 points. We're like seven games into his uh, into his NBA career. This is what he's doing. 
Yow, fuck off. Go get Matumbo. Go ahead. Shoot that three, Dikembe. Fucking Dikembe Matumbo. Shoot that goddamn three. <laughs> I was really hoping for it, too. But no, knowing me running my mouth, it was going to be one of those, like, one of those, like, improbable Shaq Dwight Howard threes that just somehow manages to go in. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Obvious foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned those free throws. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the man. Well, we're up by 21 points right now. So we'll see where we're at at the end of the third. If we're still up by this by the end of the third, that'll be great. And we'll just we'll just zip on by. There you go. Ah. Oh. Come on, man. Damn it. What's this mod? Um, it's it, it is a self-made one. Uh, well, okay. The the uh, the full mod with the rosters and everything is um, ultimate base roster by uh, Hawk Twenty Three. This is the PC port. This is pretty much only on the PC port. But uh, yeah, this is uh, ultimate base roster. I started this in nineteen ninety six, and we're now in two thousand two two thousand three season, and. It's what the Heat's old school jerseys, which are in which are in it already. But then uh, I used to play this on Steam. Actually, I used to I used to play it, and of course it's unlisted now on Steam. But I mean, I bought it way back when when it was actually available. But um, yeah, Ultimate Base roster, and then I wanted to. I I kind of got into modding my own stuff on here, so this. This court and the jerseys that the Magic are wearing are my own creations. Once I kind of started learning how to uh, how to create courts and sort of create jerseys, jerseys is really the one thing right now I'm I'm hung up on, and I still need to figure out more on. I kind of figured out some of the base stuff, but oh, I could do that. I could do that. Come on, Kwame. Come on, Kwame. Damn it. You can still buy it on Steam? Okay. Yeah, I've always just seen it unlisted, so. But I don't really worry too much about that anymore, because even though I had been playing the Steam version, um, I do have a physical copy as well. So I'm able to just do it that way. So God forbid anything happens to the, to the Steam version of the game. It's pretty much history. It, it's pretty much future-proof at this point. There you go. There you go. Get in there, Kwame. Get in there, Kwame. Ah. Oh, my God. He got a personal foul, and, oh, Sharif got the goaltending. That's all right. All right, if we can if we can get throw down some points here, that'd be great, and we can. Uh, oh, it's a long two, isn't it? Oh, it's a miss, so who cares? All right, what do we got here? Come on. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know anything about <laughs> about being able to <laughs> to buy. Games in certain regions. Couple games are extremely expensive. Yeah, I can imagine. God, I think I, I, I think I mostly have, like the last few versions of the game I don't have on Steam, just because I didn't buy it on it. I just haven't really felt the desire to to get the new new versions. 
So most of the time I've been sticking with this. I would have absolutely bought 2K22 this year, but they pretty much confirmed that both the PC version and the Switch version weren't going to have like uh, next gen uh, stuff on there, which a lot of the next gen My League stuff was something that I wanted to be able to use. And I can understand with the Switch not having it, but there's really no excuse for the PC version not to have the uh, the next gen uh, upgrades. So I was like, well, I guess I'm not buying it this year. Oh my god, what is? I gotta see. I gotta see the. I gotta see the damn. Uh, What's Sharif doing? Seven for thirteen. He's actually still over fifty percent, but it felt it's felt like he hasn't done nearly as well. The one for four from three is not great. Penny's one for five right now. Jesus. Yeah. I would I'd probably buy it, but I might do what I did for 2K21 this year, and when they inevitably have the, because uh, it seems like every year on the uh, Nintendo eShop, they'll have the Switch version uh, for sale for like $3, and that's what I've done the last like two years is buy the Switch version, because I'm like, well, I'm not going to do all the cool shit that I do, that I do in this game, so I don't feel a need to buy the new game. At full price. Oh, shit. Uh, the difference, I think a lot of it is, um, I think a lot of it relates to, like, customizing your league. That's a big one. Um, I think in the next-gen version, if I remember right in the next-gen version, you can actually... Um, you can actually dictate how many teams are in the league. Like it's no longer, it's no longer specifically thirty-two. I think you can actually, um, I think you can move it down or thirty. I think you can move it down by like six. So I think you can go down to like twelve or eighteen teams, which I thought was pretty cool because that gives you that gives you a lot of, uh, yeah, that gives you a lot of neat abilities to. Uh, do some modding and do some uh, some interesting work with that because it's like, oh, you can create kind of a custom league without 30 full teams. But, yeah, they didn't have that on PC, so I don't really mess with it. That was really the biggest one. That was the biggest one for me was the uh, league customization options. Mm -mm. I would like to do it would be kind of fun to do like some sort of scrub pickup league uh, on this game although one of the things I do like on one of the do the things I do like on the new NBA games is that you can actually dictate the uh, talent level that comes in your draft pools so if you don't download a, a draft pool and it may, you know becomes randomly generated, it, you can you can set how talented the draft is going to be, which is what I did in two K eighteen and nineteen, where it was like yeah I'm just going to turn it down to like twenty, and then everyone maxes out at like you know the high seventies. No one's really a superstar. Everyone's just sort of there. Hey. Yeah, I would. I was expecting stuff like eighty percent off. I think the lowest I saw was, the lowest I saw was I think around fifteen. I don't even know if it was officially fifteen. I saw a bunch of times it was twenty, and I almost got it at twenty, but I ended up just waiting, and then sure enough, the Nintendo Switch version did it for like three forty nine or something. So, I was like, yeah, why not? You know what's the biggest pain in the ass that I've, I've found is that there's, like, no option 
anymore to do stuff like my career uh, on offline. I understand with the idea of possibly cheating, but it it should be an option. I feel like it should be an option to do your own my player and your own my career outside of going online. That was another thing that sort of killed it for me. I was like, ah, son of a bitch. Because I, I think I was away about ready to play the game somewhere, but I didn't have an, a Wi-Fi connection because I'm like, oh, I'll just play some my career. I had gotten my guy on the Kings, and he was doing pretty okay. And then I found out, nope, you have to have an internet connection for it. Is my career goofy this year? Are they are they still doing? I would assume they're still they're still doing the uh, the stories and all that stuff and doing all the different cutscenes and that jazz. And Brown drops them both. I always I always liked the way the old school versions were, the way the way it was in like two K ten two K eleven, where you did like a combine. And then depending on how good you did in the combine shows where you got drafted. And you don't necessarily get drafted even in the first round. And then even if you get drafted, you don't necessarily end up on an NBA team. That was my favorite part of the old school uh, NBA 2Ks. Like the 2K, I'd say old, old school. But like 2K10, 2K11 was you could end up on uh, D-League teams. And having to play with them for a while. You play as a YouTuber this year? Hmm. I'm sure he's clout obsessed too. And I'm sure that it, I'm sure the writers have come up with very, very uh, hip lingo to use. Ugh. Do you do you upload videos continuously on Tick Tick? <laughs> oh, we need we need a, there you go there you go pop it up pop it up come on. C minus he still made it okay. Kerr Moe's the exact same thing last year's 2K on PS4 port. These couple cutscenes, huh? Yeah, I just, I've never been a big fan of them. I've just never really liked them all that much. Oh, that was a bad idea. I can't remember if it was like 2K18 or 2K19. But, like, they had that, it might have even been 2K20, where you were, I don't think it was DJ, maybe it was the DJ story, where you're in China, whichever, whichever story it is where you don't get drafted and you have to play in China, might have been one of my least favorite ones, but uh, that's out of the ones I've actually played. The Spike Lee one still wasn't all that good e e either. That Spike Lee one, you know, still was kind of horrendous. But, uh, yeah, DJ, the DJ story where you're playing in China and then you're in the D-League and you're sitting here bitching about the D-League. It, it was it was really funny doing the Spike Lee one with all the voice acting and everything, especially considering I, I was playing as a center. So I was just this pasty white Nordic looking seven foot center <laughs> with my family in Harlem that just doesn't. It's like you're clearly adopted. <laughs> I see where you're going with it, but <laughs> you look so obviously adopted. <laughs> Shot is off. 
looks like he's just trying to shoot his way out of this cold spell. But, uh, yeah, both teams are kind of shooting their way out of this cold spell, and it's not working. There you go. Oh, my God, even Yao can't lay up his way out of it. Worst story is 18. Chinese. Oh, yeah, I forget. Don't they? Um, they they had, like, I don't know if it was a U I, was it a YouTuber, but wasn't she based off of, like, she was she was based off some sort of online personality. I remember that. I forget the name of the uh, I forget the name of the online personality, but I remember there was some I don't know if he was she was a YouTuber or what, but she was like an Asian. She was like this Asian girl who was like super ghetto. I remember it was basically supposed to be like that. So it was like I kind of know what they're going for, but still, this is super super annoying. God, I hated that. Yeah, that's the one where you inexplicably had a giant ass, a giant ass studio. It's like, oh, you're you're barely a rookie, but you've already got this this giant loft with its own basketball court in it. With a doorman who always had to talk to you every time you went in and out. But yeah, the DJ one, especially when they gave you choices, especially when it was like, you know, you had different choices where it's like, do you do this or do you do this? And it was like, it literally doesn't matter. Your choices, you were giving me choices on a, on a linear story. It doesn't matter what I do. The, the, the story was going to go in the same direction regardless. You just three or four seconds extra cutscene. <laughs> Why even give me the illusion of choice? Because I remember, I remember that doing the D League thing, and it was like, "Do you want to shoot fireworks? Yes or no?" And I was like, "Nah, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get involved with that." And then, like ten seconds later, he's like, "Nah, I'm gonna join him anyway." It's like, then why did you even give me the fucking choice? Why, why did you even give me, why did you even give me that for the ten seconds of extra dialogue where he had to just sit there and ponder it, and then decide he, were, he was going to do it anyway? A. I always, I always liked it um, in these early, like, 2K, it, like, going back to, like, 2K10, 2K11, back when, um, I think even, I think even this year has had it, like, 2K, 2K14 even had it, where when you were, you kind of knew where you were going to get possibly drafted based on who was interviewing you, and, like, you, you did the interviews, and based on your interviews... Like based on the pre-draft interviews, you know they would have, they might they might lose interest in you and decide not to draft you. All right. I always thought that part was was uh, was kind of neat. With the interviews, because yeah, if you if you had a team you didn't want to play for, and they were interested in drafting you, you could tank the you could tank the interview on purpose, and they would no, really no longer be interested in drafting you unless you found one that you wanted to play for. Kwame's killing it right now. How many is he at? He's at is that seventeen points? Kwame Brown, seventeen points. Kwame Brown, 18 points. God damn. I love it. I love it. I want to keep this going. Just so, just, just uh, if I can get. Oh, no, they're going to. All right. All right. Off the inbound pass. Kwame Brown, 20 points. There you go. 
performance. Any player loves I don't know why I was so jazzed about that. 20 points for Kwame. Let's go. I mean, Yao still scored, I think, at least 30, so. God damn, Yao Ming. All right, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna look and see what they put this as. Uh, I wanna see our box score here. Did they really? Tracy McGrady and Lindsey Hunter were their highest scoring guys at thirteen each. I mean, we had some guys that didn't do too hot, but yeah, Yao Ming twenty nine, Kwame Brown twenty, Sharif got eighteen. He did okay, but yeah, Hardaway only got five. Tinsley got two, but then again, Tinsley's more of a playmaker than anything. But even then, he only got two assists. Man, we are... Imagine how much worse that would have been if we actually had Timmy there. That would have been even worse for them. There we go. All right. I guess, uh, I guess we got the Cavaliers game. See how that goes. Sim that. Nice win. Six and two. All right. The Nets are dying over there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's see. Yep. Cavaliers at Magic. Let's go. Gotta go. All right. See you. Thanks for dropping by. I appreciate it. They got to have some of the new ones on here, right? Ooh. The Black Cleveland one's not too bad. Let me see here. Ooh, I like these old school ones right there. These are these were never too bad. I like, I like, I really like those. That, those one looks nice. I like that. It's a good look. Where's the white? Where's the white one? There you go. I was like, where's my home jersey? Perfect. Welcome to 2K Sports in the NBA. I'm your host, Damon Bruce. Welcome to Wednesday night here in the NBA. It's going to be. Oh, we already got Andre Kirilenko. Orlando Magic. And that's it for us in the studio. <laughs> why? Why show Lee Mayberry? And the rest of the 2K Sports crew. Oh, why? That's all right. All right. The crowd is assembled at the American Airlines Center looking for a Mavericks win here in downtown Dallas. This isn't quite Dallas. Jason Richardson, Andre Kirilenko, Lee Nalen, Marcus Camby. Okay. Well, you can say a lot of good things Why is Scott Padgett in there? Maybe the best is that he just Something happened to Alston? I thought Alston was usually the guy. Oh, well. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, my God. Give it to the big man. Oh, my God. He lost at that time. Son of a bitch. That's all right. Sharif is here and ready. Ready to take a foul. Damn it. I shouldn't have moved around. Okay. Let's see here. All right. All right, I think I think I can get this. I think I can get this. Oh shit! Ah! Damn it! That was so good, Penny, and then you limp dicked it. There we go. Well done again. He doesn't have the same problems at the line mm -mm 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 -mm. that play some of the NBA's other big men. Back to Camby. Oh. Here's Nalen. And the officials oh, God. The on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. Ah. And this All right, whatever. The line tonight. Man, we are missing. We are missing Timmy. And when we got Yao at, at the very least, we can see what he's all about. Oh, no. Really? 
I mean, I, I won't I won't judge the whole game on that. Oh, boy. I won't judge the whole game on that, but it's weird to see. Um, it's weird to see him excel so well against Dikembe Mutombo, of all people. It's a long two, but whatever. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, shit. Really? No one's going to guard him? Damn it. All right. Uh, let's get it back to Penny. Let's try to let's try to get him. Oh, my God almighty. Wow. I'm kind of surprised they didn't draw a foul, too, but that's all right. At least he got it. Man, remember when Andre Kirilenko was something? <laughs> uh, let's see. Speaking of Yao. Oh, my God. You're good. You're good. Oh, my God, he's losing the ball so much. Oh, my God. What a move. That man felt like he was going to break his own damn ankle at that point. All right. He's okay. We're all okay. He made the, he made the shot. Maybe I should give it to Sharif. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, yep, never mind. I'm a dipshit. That's all right. Uh, I need to. I need to upgrade his uh, his post moves and his ball handling. Damn it! Post moves and ball security, I believe, are the two stats I need to work on with Yao. Irving in 22 is broken. You can shoot him in the head. He'll still get the layup in. Yeah, I can imagine. I, I bet you there have probably been some broken-ass people in that game. I wonder if the I, I wonder if the Nets as a whole are just a broken team in the game. I can imagine. Because I'm I'm guessing that 2K isn't going to be super realistic with their uh, with their ratings. I'd love to know. I'd love to know what. Um, I'd love to know some of um, of uh, Harden's defensive stats are. Considering Harden's uh, infamous defense. Mm. Oh oh oh. He makes you put the brakes on shot attempts because you know if you don't get it up high enough, he's sending it behind you. Just five to shoot. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. He trains the turnaround jump shot. Jason Richardson and Andre Kirilenko. Jason Richardson, one of the top players on a really shitty on a really shitty Sacramento team. And then Kirilenko, one of the top players on a really shitty jazz team. He's going to beat the Nets if Irving and Katie was on the bench. 
trigger on a shot and doesn't hesitate to pull up as soon as he gets his hands on the ball. He's a very aggressive player. Well, defensive pressure. I'd, I'd, I'd imagine I'd imagine playing playing uh, as long as you can stop Harden on offense. He's not gonna he's not gonna be that bad on defense. Uh, God damn. Should I try it? Why not? Hey! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Dennis Scott with a dunk? All right. Uh, yeah. Transition opportunity. And it wasn't just the tough D, it was the exclamation point they put on the fast break with the slam. Here's a Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Get out of the way. Number 31. He's covered by Alston. Off target at the rim. <laughs> yeah, if 2K22 is realistic, Irving would be. Yeah, Irving, Irving would have zero minutes. Hey. I am excited because uh because Friday will be uh opening night for hockey. At least in the AHL. Got my first home game to go to. I've also been looking at tickets. I don't know how many I don't know how many wrestling fans show up for my NBA streams as well. But I have I've deeply considered uh I'll probably end up going just because tickets really aren't that expensive, but I've been looking at going to full gear next month. Because I was like, we're only a few weeks away. There's still some tickets left. It's not too bad. Even with the uh, even with the fees and everything, it still comes out to like 45 bucks. There you go. I even got the notification that WWE was going to have a live event in December and was like, nah. If I go, I would probably get secondhand tickets like the day of because that's how I ended up going to <laughs> like a Monday Night Raw taping in, what was it, 2019, I think, um, for like $4. Because people needed to sell their tickets, and I was like, "Fuck it, I guess I'll go for four bucks." Hey. And I even got, and I even got a double raw for that because that was the week before Christmas. So we got two mediocre raws for the price of one for four fucking dollars. But yeah, got you into the NFL. Wow. I was thinking about doing football content uh, again. I've been I've been fi trying to figure out like what game would be would be best for it. I feel like now with the with the extent of uh, I feel like now with the extent of the customization in Axis football. I'd be a big fan of doing more Axis football stuff with my own custom league. It's just the gameplay is still pretty mediocre. There you go. We're good. Oh, no, an episode of Raw, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I I think I ended up picking like a um, I don't even think it was a super well attended one because no I don't think they tarped off the second the second tier, but I forgot that Spreewell's still in here and now he's now he's in Kansas City. Yeah, I've I haven't seen any of the uh, any of the. Uh, the tournament stuff i've only heard vaguely about it and i've and i've seen the reports of the match times and it's just like god damn really that's 
I'm like, it's almost sad because I'm like, are these really just a bunch of matches under three minutes long? You're just not going to, are you going to maybe have the finals be more than three minutes? Oh, God damn it. Just get ready for the rebound. Never mind. Guess I'll go fuck myself. Uh, Sharif? No. All right, Sharif, go, go. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Yao just continuing to draw fouls. All right. Let's get let's get Yao some more some more shots at the free throw line. And they were the number two shooting team from behind the arc. Boy, outstanding work knocking down those triples. Do drop in Zelina Vega. Yeah. That one Xavier will be nice, but yeah. Do drop in Zelina Vega. Haven't they been treating Zelina Vega like a fucking jobber ever since she came back? Ever since she had her big comeback, that's just basically been like, yeah, we're just gonna make her a jobber. Why not? And poor, poor fucking, uh, poor Piper Niven, man, has such a ridiculous name. And I know that's supposed to be like part of her character, I think. But still. Imagine, imagine having her as a goddamn comedy character when like I saw her shit in stardom. Before she ever signed to, uh, before she ever signed to even NXT UK, when she was still Viper, and it's like, she's everything you want Nia Jax to be without fucking hurting people. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's give it to Kwame. Come on, Kwame. Oh, look at that. Nice. Where's he at? Where's where's he at? All right. Kwame's got four. Yao's got six. Yao hasn't been as explosive this game. But then again, I feel like I feel like it was nothing short of an anomaly in his last game. All right, there you go. All right, yeah, I's got this. Don't worry, guys. No, oh, never mind. Sharif's got it. Oh. All right. Mm mm mm. Watch, I'm going to miss it anyway. Ready? Ready? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> that Kirilenko shot just, just mugged them. Jesus Christ. Pies. Isn't that supposed to be pronounced like Paizuo? I don't think it's Paisuri. I thought it's like Paisuo. I thought it was something stupid. I've heard the word before. I forget what it is. He hits both from the strike. And we're now a little over two. Uh, oh, we got Paget now. All right, we got Penny. I bet you he could break. If he could break, um, oh, 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 that was a that was I held that too long. Let's just say if Penny could if Penny could damn near break uh, McGrady's ankles, I feel like he could probably break uh, whoever the hell he's facing now. Who are you up against? Let's get this. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
That went terribly. That went all sorts of terribly. Good God. Hey, Yao, the mid-range shooter. Up, up, up. Damn it. Oh, my God almighty. Son of a bitch. All right. That's fine. Uh, let's see here. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. It's kind of weird how little, because I just had one of the one of my uh, coworkers, because he knew I, I liked wrestling. Why is Yao guarding the point guard? And he knew I liked wrestling, and he's like, yeah, you know, I heard the uh, the WWE commercial, and he's like, yeah, talking about wrestling and all that, and and he was like, you know, what 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 is going on in WWE right now? And I'm just like, I gotta be honest, I don't fucking know. I'm at a I'm at a point now when people ask me about WWE stuff, it's like I literally don't watch it. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of like it's kind of like I have friends now who I think have stopped expecting me to see stuff on Facebook. Cuz I've had uh, I've had I've had friends on on Facebook 16.4 inches. Why are you measuring that? But uh, I've had friends who've told me they're like, "Yeah, this is the thing on you didn't see." Oh yeah, my mom did that. I think she's I think she's learned now. But she's like, "Yeah, you didn't see your sister posted this, this, this." I'm like, "No." She's like, "Well, it was on Facebook." I'm like, "I don't go on Facebook." Like, I think if you go back about five posts, if you go back five posts in my Facebook history. You'll you'll find my uh, you'll find my pictures of when I went to Japan. That was in November of 2019. It was nearly two years ago. That's how little I post. We get an opportunity to check out Marcus Camby here. Very nice season for him last year. Fourth in blocks. Ugh. All right. I guess we're not going to show the top the top five. Just going to stare at the ceiling a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Screen by Nalon. By the way, I like this scoreboard, but I found other scoreboards. Scoreboards that I, I don't it's weird because speaking of Facebook. That's how I that's how I spend my time on Facebook now because I found that um the best oh, the best places to find two K fourteen mods in twenty twenty one no longer seem to be like NLSC. NLSC is always one of the best places to go for NBA 2K mods, but I feel like it's sort of died out, at least for 2K14. And now it's like, now it's Facebook. Now it's like uh, Filipino dudes on Facebook who still make mods. very warm in here i don't think the heat's officially on that's been that's been weird now that it's cooled off finally got the finally got the heat going for the first time this year i i dropped it down to like 63 that'll be nice my 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 ac bills during the summer when it was consistently 90 degrees was like 160 170 dollars a month so I'm looking forward to see what the heating bills look like because I don't I want to I definitely want to see what my bill looks like this next month. I'm, I'm kind of excited because I know I haven't been running the AC in quite a while and I've barely run the heat at all. Do it again. Oh, my God. I gave you a second chance. 
and you failed. Nope. Nope. Uh, what? Is that it? That's, oh, god damn it. It's like, that's Anthony Miller, right? I don't think I have Reggie Miller anymore. I think Reggie Miller decided to go be a free agent. Oh, the Queen of the Ring tournament so far is at like 12 minutes. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm very. I'm very. Um, I'm very back and forth on if I want to go to full gear because it'd be my first AEW show, so I I could definitely go. It's on a Saturday, so I don't have to take time off for it. Not 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 like I couldn't get time off anyway. Like I got the time off for it, but I'd be going by myself. I'm pretty sure, but. It's still not too bad. And like I said, it's not that expensive, so might be a pretty good, might be a pretty fun time. Yeah, full gear, full gear is the next pay per view in Minneapolis. So it's only like a three and a half hour drive for me. Hey. The end of the first half of play. It's the magic up by 11. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after half. So I feel like it wouldn't cost me that much to get there. It's maybe, maybe a tank, maybe a tank, tank and a quarter of gas spent on it. So not too bad. Yeah, that's that was the thing. I was like, oh, I could see Adam Page and Omega. I could see whatever the hell's the. Uh, I haven't seen CM Punk live in, what, 13 years, I'd say. I think the last time I got to, I, I try to remember, I don't think I ever saw CM Punk um, during the age of his Cult of Personality song. I think that literally the last time I got to see CM Punk live was when he was still in ECW. And he's helped out with some key rebounds as well. And look at the games being played right now. Oh, let's see. Center trailing to Chicago. They're trying to erase an eight-point deficit in the second quarter. Wally Serbiak, Dirk Nowitzki with the Charlotte Hornets. I, f I forget that's a thing. Smooth sailing so far for them. Game in the third. And here's a look at the other NBA action from around the league. No one's really destroying anybody. Okay, Lakers are kind of beating up on the Clippers. And now we'll get you back out to American Airlines Center. Why is the heat logo work until you actually get into the into a, a game? I don't understand. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, we're not in Dallas, Texas. We're in Orlando, Florida. I need to figure that out. But I'm not too. I'm not too worried about that. I can. I can deal with him saying it's in Dallas. Yeah, I mean, I was fortunate enough to be able to go to All In when they first had that before all the AEW stuff, but it'd be nice to go to an actual proper AEW show. What was what was that noise he just made? This is why you need size inside the uh, oh, damn it. I do have size inside, you dumb announcers. It's still a tough shot. This is why you need size inside. I have size. Fuck you, Steve. What would you know about size, you freaking six foot two? Six foot two point guard. 
game, guys. They're, they're working it inside, dominating in the paint, getting good shots at will. Well, four of their last five baskets, guys. Uh. Exactly that variety. Out of bounds, Cleveland will take possession. That's a major mental mistake. I mean, there's no other way for me to describe it. He didn't know where he was on the court. That's a, uh. that's a, that's a basic fundamental. You have to be alert to where you are. Oh, 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 oh. It's fine. It's fine. Richardson kicks to Camby. Oh my God! All right. Um, Sharif's open. And by that I mean Penny. Never mind. Never mind. Sharif's open again. Uh, just bang it off the rim. That's fine. I thought Yao was just gonna freaking fall on his ass. Might be able to see Suzuki. That's another good. It's another good idea. I don't think I've seen. I'm trying to think. I don't think I've officially seen Suzuki yet. No, I haven't officially seen Suzuki. That might be. That might be one. He might. He might still be here for another three and a half weeks. I feel like it's worth the worth the idea that he might still be here for another three and a half weeks. Just be like, hey. Can we use you up to? I bet you. I bet you. If anything, full gear would be like his last appearance. He could set up for something. Brian Danielson. Yeah, I'm trying to. Have I ever seen? Oh fuck! I'm trying to remember. There had to. Have, I'm. I'm positive there was a point that I saw. That I saw Daniel Bryan wrestle. With the. I feel like if it happened, it happened on some like random SmackDown. I feel like if I'd actually, if I've actually seen Brian Danielson wrestle, it was on some random SmackDown. That's probably when I would have seen him. Hey. There you go. Mox versus Suzuki, yeah. Uh, I thought they were going to do that on a New Japan show, though. I thought they were going to do, like, a redo of that. Or maybe I was thinking maybe I was thinking of Tanahashi. But they might, New Japan might not want Tanahashi to, uh, to leave Japan. <laughs> or has he already? I might already be mistaken. I don't follow New Japan enough. Especially the New Japan Strong stuff. I know Jay White's here, but... I think the key to their team was the steals that you talked about because they were a team that put a lot of pressure on the offense. They got out and played the passing lane. Just keep drawing fouls. And when they did... Kwame the foul drawer. Did they have that? Did they have that badge? He doesn't have any badges, but I'm like, I, I, I can't remember if they had that badge in 2K14. I don't think they had a foul draw, like a, um, yeah, draw foul. Oh, oh shit, they got Okor. They got Okor and Kirilenko. Man, this is like this is 2011 Utah Jazz right here. You gonna get Darren Williams next? All right, I believe in you. I believe in you, Kwame. I believe in you drawing a foul, at least. Jesus. Shit. All right. All right, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to feed it to Kwame, or he's going to... I was going to eventually pass it back out to Sharif, but then that didn't work. So... Could you imagine Dana White showing up? Oh, you know what? We might get, I might get a Junior Dos Santos uh, appearance. They're they're definitely gonna do. They're definitely probably gonna do the American Top Team stuff 
through, you know, for the next few weeks and probably do some sort of match at full gear. It'd be interesting to see Dos Santos. Fuck you. All right, now now out of principle, I'm going to use Kwame. Oh. Oh, my God. I believed in you. Sharif, what are you doing? Oh, my God. Penny just straight up, just straight up smacked that. God damn it. All right, that's fine. Very nice pickup of the offensive rebound. And once he gets his hands on it, you know. Yeah, we'll see what we could do with Penny here. Okay. Oh, God almighty. Are we just going to clang the rim every goddamn time now? Is that what we're doing today? We really seem to have this slump right at the end of the right at the end of the third quarter is when we have this nice little slump. Another I don't like it. I, mean, that's like taking candy from a baby. Yeah, no excuses, Mark. I, mean, at some point, I need to get a rotation of scoreboards. I was looking at new I have some new scoreboards I could edit. I would like a I'd like to get a rotation going. But if logos are screwed up then it makes it a little bit harder. Bender, uh, what do we? Oh my God, Almighty! What the fuck? I feel like on my next stream, it would be in the rotation to play college hoops, but I feel like I should play something else. I've been talking about, I think I talked a little bit about playing uh, Mark Out, that uh, card game. And I was interested in doing something of that. Even though it looks like um, they're going to reset the cards at some point, which kind of killed off my interest in playing it more. Because it's like, well, if you're going to reset my whole damn collection and everything I've worked on so far, what point is there in me continuing to play right now? I understand, you know, updates and all that, but shit. Can you at least convert that to, like, can you at least convert that to some currency so I could buy new packs? Second shot opportunity. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. Easy call there. No question about that one. You could hear the impact from where I am. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from. Well, that's good. Well, the great passing we saw in the first half has carried right over into the second. I've been impressed with how well they've penetrated tonight, too. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Penny Paget. No, Paget's uh, Paget's tired, too. Goddamn. Oh, my God. What the fuck was that, yo? I don't need more card games. <laughs> Me neither, but you know what? I, I was always a big fan of the uh, the With Authority, WWE, the WWE With Authority and uh, WWF Raw deal and uh, those card games like that. I was like, yeah, I'll do a digital version of this game. You don't actually buy. Like, you don't actually spend money, money. You have to earn it through, you know, playing the game. But it works. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Yeah, the defender draped all over. Pretty And then of course being able to combine cards so you can like combine move cards to make like combo cards. You look at the numbers from last season, he So that's kinda cool. Marcus Camby. He's checked in for Cleveland. And both free throws good for Kirilenko. Magic leading by six. All right, we got Sharif. Sharif is tired as hell, but you know what? We got Sharif. Can't I can't wait for the end of the quarter, man. We need our guys to we need our guys to chill out a little bit. Richardson's got seven now in this quarter. Got it off in time. Oh, I thought he made it. I thought for a second it might go in. Magic lead by six. 
and we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. Mm. Only six points. Goddamn. Next Monday night, November 18th, the Houston Rockets. Vin Baker is the guy you're going to focus on. Manu, I understand, but Vin Baker. Oh, look at look at look at Ginobili with that with that mane of hair. And thanks for joining us again as the fourth quarter of play is up to get rolling. It's been a close battle to this point. I feel like I need to look up some of the uh I need to look up some of the uh hair and and, and stuff just to see how certain things look in the game and like what faces people use so I could eventually make older because this Manu, this Manu Ginobili kind of freaks me out and I don't want to be like five extra seasons in and not have, you know, bald older Ginobili. I don't want, I don't want Ginobili with long hair for too long. Six on the shot clock. If I thought about that earlier, I'd probably still have Afro Kobe. I probably wouldn't ever switch over to Kobe with Kobe with a, a bald head. It's Richardson on the wing. Passes it to best. From deep nope. point range, and it's Orlando with the rebound. The biggest lead of the game. Mayberry is already tired. Yao is tired. I wanted you to pump fake, buddy. You're not doing your Don't know what you were doing. A shot like that one. You know, I agree. He's got to know better than that. Can be with it. Started now by Yao. Richards in the Started the Wolfenstein series, so you have no reason to get any new games for a while. But three. They get it again. Can be. He feeds it to Kirilenko. Mm -mm -mm -mm. He dishes it to Camby. Pass to Kirilenko. Backs him down. No uh, okay, that works. That's fine. We're good. Paget's tired. Sharif is still good. Oh, shit. Uh... Who's hurt? No! Come on, Sharif is hurt now? No, don't tell me Sharif is hurt now. God damn it, we're just... No, wait, who who got hurt? Uh, game... No, coaching... Who got hurt? Oh, Paget got hurt. Okay, well. I don't care that much about Paget getting hurt. But man, we are just we're just consistently getting hurt right now. That's all right. Hoyberg will be back in like two weeks. Tim Duncan will be back any day now. Yao Ming is broken in like all the NBA games. He was definitely broken in like the the like two K seven days. It was definitely a cheat code, which kind of carried over to college hoops, which is why, which is why I had a seven foot three center that was a bit of a cheat code too. Oh my god! You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a, okay, take a quick timeout. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to take it a little, little, little easier. Uh, what was that shit, Alston? Uh, well, just yeah. Where is the no man to man? No, there it is. Get the bench out there. I want I want my starters fresh so that when we get down to like the two minute mark they potentially are are uh 
a they potentially are uh, ready to go just in case uh, we really start royally screwing stuff up. We're up by nine, but that could change very, very quickly. All right, don't guard him. It's the three point mm -hmm. bomb. And the Magic lead by 12. You know, defensively, you cannot forget about him. It gave him a wide open. It's kind of like, like Michael Vick in like Madden 2004, just being an absolute cheat code. Fires from deep. Gets the bucket. LeBron, I think LeBron in most of these in in the games around this time were all it was also a cheat code because this was this was Miami Heat LeBron and yeah I remember Miami Heat LeBron in the NBA 2K game as being being broken. Up, 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 up. Nice block. Uh, Bender's Cole. Oh, there you go. There you go. Makes it off the glass. Defender a little hesitant to offer resistance as he bursts to the hoop. The Cavaliers trail by 11. I remember this is the year after 2K13. Uh, well, obviously being 2K14, but I remember 2K13 the previous year. The thing that was broken in the in 2K13 was uh running running uh jumpers. <laughs> the running floating jumpers was super super broken in 2K13. I remember because my friend would get pissed that um my friend would get pissed that I would uh that I would use it. Just the idea that I'd come like this, 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 and then just go whoop and just swish every goddamn time. Just be like, oh, is he good? <laughs> yeah, they definitely fixed it, but yeah, it would be a thing where it's like, oh, is he guarding me tight? Okay, I'm just going to go like this and this and this and this and then... Except they definitely had a lot more... They definitely had a lot more floating... Like they definitely jumped, like like superhumans when they were doing that. Nope. Ugh. All right. Two sixteen is good enough time to bring the starters back in. Let's do it. Let's do it, boys. Let's finish off strong. That's it. We kept him to six, so that should be that should do it. Yeah, well, striking distance be damned. Yao Ming's back out there. And Sharif. Oh, oh god damn it. Oh my god, Tinsley. Alright, Paget must not be that hurt considering he's back in. Ah. Oh. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried. We don't need a timeout right now. There you go. Let's go, boys. Oh, oh. Oh. I'm trying to. I'm trying to move around in a. Uh, Wait here, they go. Nalon against his former team, unfortunately, is not going to do well <laughs> against the new guy. <laughs> All right. Oh my God Almighty! Oh my God Almighty! Oh, we let him. We let him have a nice. We let him have a nice moment there. All right, moment over. Go get him, Yao. Oh, he immediately screws it up with a goaltending call. <laughs> he immediately, 
He helps him get within four and immediately screws it up with a goaltending. Perfect. See the uh, ex excited to see the death of WWE 2K. Dude, I, I, okay, so they haven't, they're not coming out with it until March, which is probably better for them, honestly, because March, March will have a few select titles that come out, usually for Nintendo, but not a ton comes out, especially in, with sports titles, besides um, the show. So that's a really good time for them. But, yeah, I can't imagine what the game actually looks like. I'm more excited for the idea of what the AEW game probably looks like since they have, you know, more stuff they can do. They were definitely trying to uh, force the foul, and it just didn't happen. Nope. Oh. DLC for 2K20 got scrapped because Vince kept releasing. Oh, 2K22, you mean. 2K20 is non-existent. Oh, shit. Oh, you son of a bitch. Hope for some misses. I put Yao Ming to the line. Yao has been Yao has been like automatic. That's not happening. All right, this game is pretty much done. They got to shoot some threes. They really should have had him. They really should have Karolinko put up a shot, but he didn't. Uh, I think they've I think they've just officially assumed assumed they're gonna lose. All right, that's fine. So it's Orlando winning this one. They came, they saw, they conquered. Hey, Kevin, to me, any win is a good win. Thanks for joining us for this presentation of NBA basketball on 2K Sports. For Dor I'll take it. Is it still Yao? It's still Yao. Yao still killed it. We're all good. What did he do? 22? All right. Hardaway only had four. Hardaway's had a string of not so... Not so amazing games. Karolenko did pretty good. 23. That's good. All right. Let's go ahead. Hey, win five games in a row. There you go. Started off a little rough, but nonetheless, we're seven and two now. And we'll go to the Utah game. The Utah games are definitely going to be an issue. All right. Two back-to-back -back games against... Oh, we're at a 93! Fucking Tim Duncan's back. Tim Duncan is... He's still recovering, but he's back. He's in the lineup. Let me see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Yeah! He's got limited minutes. That's fine. But Tim Duncan will get minutes against the Jazz. On the road. There you go. God damn. Alston probably won't be too happy about it, but that's fine. Um, other than that, everything else is pretty okay. When's Hoiberg coming back? He's got one to two weeks, so he'll probably be back sometime after the, the Jazz games. That's fine. But we got Tim Duncan back. Holy Christ, has it been a long time. It has been a while. Will it say when his last game was? What is his recent games? 11, oh, no, he came back. He came back already. All right. So he came back 15 points, 4 for 9, 7 for 8 free throws, a plus 11. Okay. But here we go. We'll get to bring him back again. What happened to Duncan? ACL. Tore his ACL. He was out for the season. MCL, sorry. He tore his MCL like I think two-thirds of the way last season. He was completely out the rest of the season and playoffs. And he's been all the way out until now. So finally back. Jesus Christ. We could have used him in the playoffs. 
but you know we lost the lost the Easter Conference Finals for that. That's fine. Or did we not make it to the finals? Did we lose in the second round? I can't remember when we lost. Nonetheless, let me save it again just to be safe because I am out of here. It was almost one in the morning. I definitely need to go to bed. But hey, we got two uh, big jazz games coming up. We're at home against them, and then we're on the road against them. And that'll be the next thing to look forward to. But we've got we've got uh, we've got our third guy back, the third guy of our big three: Sharif, Penny, Tim Duncan. So, I'm pretty excited for that. I believe uh, did the no, it's not there. It's uh, total sim control that changed. Nope. All right. So that'll be good to look forward to. All right. Well, thank you guys for coming out. I appreciate it. It was very late, especially for me. I need to go so I can go to bed. But I appreciate you guys being here. Appreciate you guys hanging out and talking. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you for continuing to watch uh, on YouTube. I greatly appreciate that as well. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time.